good morning guys welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here my name is Callie I am a second year law student in New York it is 6 30 a.m. I'm so tired but I thought we'd do a little morning routine I like to wake up at like 6 6 30 just because I like to have a very slow morning and waking up earlier gives me that time to really just like chill and like get things done in the morning and I like it just makes the day flow so much better so I'm gonna force myself out of bed right now and I'll see you guys in two seconds Every morning, first thing, I always just make my bed and open the blinds because I am a very firm believer in, first of all, obviously letting bright light in your room will wake you up, but there's also multiple studies done behind making your bed first thing in the morning that's linked to productivity and success. Just doing it in the morning as like the first thing is like having the first thing you do be productive so it kind of sets the tone for the day so I very much believe in making your bed right when you wake up. I don't do any like actual skincare when I first wake up just because I always on normal days like work out right when I get up I like to get it over with in the morning because it just helps get that morning anxiety out because you guys know I'm just a ball of anxiety and whenever I work out and get like some kind of movement in before actually starting the day, once again, I also think that is linked to being productive. If you're noticing a theme here, it's all my whole morning routine is surrounded about around my whole morning routine is surrounded around trying to make me more productive. But I will always ice roll my face in the morning. I got this off Amazon, I'll link it below. It's really good for your skin, it wakes it up, it depuffs it and i love it it also just like wakes you up so this is like what i do first thing in the morning and i'll like splash my water with some face before this to like get the i don't know debris off my face from the evening before of sleeping i definitely drool so like i always have like you know caked saliva on my face and like the little crusties around your eyes yeah I think this is truly the most important step what I think is so important in the morning is having a big glass of water I like I like to have cold water first thing in the morning which I know it's apparently not good for you either way just have a huge glass of water it wakes you up like this wakes me up more than coffee I swear temporarily but like it does really work so i always just like chug a huge glass of water obviously when you're sleeping you don't drink water for eight hours you, you wake up dehydrated it just like makes you feel so much better my throat always hurts a little bit in the morning too i think because i must be a mouth breather in my sleep i don't know and yeah so i'm gonna chug this glass of water also full transparency i was just looking in the mirror if my face is a little bit orange this morning i was like really really rushing with the self tanner last night and not paying attention and i accidentally didn't use the face drops i used the body drops which are like more intense on your face so i don't know if like it's just me or if my face is a little orange this morning which is really really not ideal not a good look but Nothing I can do. Going to brush my teeth right now, but another thing that has become a morning routine that has become my morning routine. Hold on, Cleo. Cleo, I'm gonna freak if I don't feed them first thing. Like they act like they literally starve and never eaten before. But another huge part of my morning routine is to listen to best I ever had. Every morning. Don't know why, but I'm gonna brush my teeth. Hey Google, play Best I Ever Had by Drake. Best I Ever Had by Drake. Sure. Playing on Spotify. Seriously, it just starts the day off right. 
So this has nothing to do with my morning routine. It's just a apartment update. But I got this shelf installed yesterday. And I was a little worried that it would look weird like under the picture, etc, etc. But I actually love it. I got this shelf from CB2 because I just wanted somewhere to put um, a speaker in here. And I thought a shelf is a solution because it looked stupid on top of the toilet, obviously. And there's not room. The sink and plugs next to the sink is not ideal. So yeah, I just got a cute little plant that is like not doing well because Cleo, before the shelf got here, was eating it every day. I think it looks so cute, guys. Okay, guys, it's 7 a.m., so it's time to go for a walk. Ideally, I like to leave early when 7 a.m. because I like to see the sunrise, but we didn't wake up until 6.30 today because I'm tired. But let's go for a walk. I'm wearing Yeezys today for my walking shoes, which obviously, like, when I go on a real walk, I like to wear, like, proper walking shoes but i got those shoes by the brand i think it's called on like the cloud swift shoes i think i got and they're great for the gym but i got an eight and a half instead of listening to my mother and getting a nine and they're like a little too small it's not noticeable except when i'm walking like they're too small to walk so i'm wearing yeezys until i order a bigger pair for walking but just got joe in the juice i'm trying a new juice today i always get the energizer but this is the prince of green it's cucumber lemon and pineapple it sounded really good i'm having my juice in the park it's so pretty out today it's supposed to be so nice it's gonna be like 70 degrees and yeah it's just a good start to the morning to have a nice little juice outside taste test also ignore the hair um we had to put it up like this because it's so windy on the bridge i was going insane Pretty good, very good. Better than the normal cucumber juice I usually drink. Yeah, I'd give it a, I'd give this a eight out of 10. Or nine out of 10, honestly, it's really growing on me every sip. It's really good. The only reason we're giving it an eight out of 10 is because this was $9, which is stupid, but. Hi guys, I just got out of the shower, which like, thank God, washed the tan off. The orangeness has gone away. The orangeness has gone away, so that's nice. I am going to do some skincare right now and um, blow drying my hair, which I hate blow drying my hair. I actually have a whole new skincare line coming today, which I'm so excited about. Basically, I told you guys in my last vlog, but I got a hydrofacial and I'm gonna start going for treatments to help with. You can't really see right now because my face isn't like tanned, but in the summer, you can really see I have really bad hyperpigmentation, like a huge patch right here and right here that like literally just don't tan. Um, and it's always been like an insecurity, it's from eczema. So there's a treatment you can do, but anyway, so I'm gonna go in and start doing that. And also, um, yeah, he just like, I never really had, like, I just always guessed and picked what I was using for my skincare, but like now I have like a full set out skincare routine that comes in this little set that gets here today. So it's my last day doing my old skincare, which is wild, but I'm going to go do my skincare right now. It's not that interesting and it's about to change. So I will show you guys my new skincare once I have it. So stay tuned. Hair is blow dried. I like, I don't know why I hate blow drying my hair so much. I literally have to sit down to do it. It just overwhelms me, but 
I'm like really into the slicked back look lately. Um, I just put like the tiniest bit of gel in my hair because I'm not going anywhere. And I feel like if I put a bunch of gel and then I'll have to wash it again. But I just put a tiny bit in to slick it back and put it up. And yeah, it's like nine o'clock now. So it's time to make coffee. I think I'm gonna make a TikTok of me making the coffee but you guys can see like a little behind the scenes if you would like. You guys already know, La Cologne for life. As well as my favorite creamer in the whole world. And I'm so, so, so happy to be using it again. And we also do with the cream, which is like a very, very, very important ingredient seems weird trust me i thought it was weird too but it's really good and okay so for more aesthetic purposes for when i do making coffee tiktoks i always get a cup of ice and then a clean cup just because when i do the caramel part you can't do it on top of ice usually normally if i just do it and then put the ice in but this is for tiktok purposes solely so I'm gonna make my TikTok. I literally just prop my phone up. I literally just prop my phone up against a soap. Actually, I think that's the lotion. Um, but yeah, I just prop my phone up on that and film. Hi guys, good morning. We're making coffee. I'm in a good mood today. All right, coffee check. She's so cute. And by the way, I had a comment on this on my TikTok. These are reusable straws. I don't use plastic straws, but they're like plastic reusable straws, if that makes sense. They are dishwasher safe and everything. But I love them because I just don't like the metal straws. I don't know if this is an OCD thing, but I don't even like to talk about it. But the, that, the thought of metal scraping on my teeth, I can't even take, uh, it's just like a, yeah, I can't take it. So I like plastic reusable straws, which are actually for some reason kind of hard to find. Um, without like the, like, you know how like the ones that are made for the Starbucks cup have, the Starbucks cups have like that little, lip on it so it doesn't go out of the lid. Do you know what I'm talking about? I just wanted normal straws that didn't have that, but I found these, I'll link them. Um, they have so many cute straws. I got like cheetah print, polka dot, rainbow. Yeah, but we're gonna go drink our coffee up on the roof. Guys, look how cute this mirror is. It shows like the bridge in the background, obviously. And if you stand in the right spot, these little if you stand in the right spot these little like location marks are accurate so cute i might get a picture in it this morning it's kind of fun yeah just going to drink my coffee it is so pretty out i actually like that table over there to sit at better but this one's in the sun right now so yep just gonna chill and drink my coffee as i switch tables because i just like this table better um and it's finally getting in the sun but look how pretty it is out today guys i just love sitting up here and like i don't know watching the boats go by it's fun but yeah this coffee is beautiful the day beautiful i love it okay guys it is breakfast time I've shown you guys this egg sandwich so many times, and I'm sorry if you're tired of it, but for the people who haven't seen it, in case there's people who haven't seen it, it's very important. We're going to use one egg. We're going to split up this pepper jack cheese and distribute it among the egg, okay? While that's egging up, which I'll show you the process, we're going to toast sourdough bread. Pretty important that it's sourdough. When this is done, we're going to slice an avocado. We're going to put half or a quarter to a half of an avocado on one piece, and we're going to butter the other side. We will then place the egg on top, salt, and douse it in Frank's Red Hot. And it's literally the best egg sandwich in the world. So I know I've shown you guys, but I have to use a stool for everything because these cabinets are so high. It's wild, but these are the bowls I like to scramble my egg in. Okay guys, I've 
talked about this before, I'll talk about it again. This is the most important part. We're going to do a double flip. I'll show you guys what I mean, but it's literally the reason the egg sandwich is so good. I think you guys can see enough from this angle, the flip I'm about to do. So we're going to flip. Sometimes I use my hands a little bit to guide the flip. So we flip it that way first, and then we flip it over again like so. This creates the perfect double flip, fits on your sandwich perfectly, distributes the cheese perfectly, and I like it when it's like perfectly softly cooked like this. flex my spice drawer for a little bit so I don't have all my spices but guys okay I know all the bottles aren't the same size but this looks pretty cute doesn't it I'm just gonna grab some pink Himalayan salt and put some of this on top and yeah we're about to have the best egg sandwich in the world okay guys here she is I have to like bend down here so that I can we can have the first bite together. Um, hold on. Cheers, guys. Look how good this looks. Mmm. It's so good. Every time. Mm. The best egg sandwich in the world, guys. Best egg sandwich in the world. I kind of regretted putting this table here at first because I was like, is it crowded? But it won't look crowded once the couch is here. Love looking out at the bridge in the morning while I eat breakfast. It's just nice. And sometimes I open the window, but I'm so paranoid with Cleo and Luna, I'm scared they'll jump out. So yeah, I basically monitor very closely when I have the window open because it is nice to have fresh air in, but like that space is high key, big enough that they could jump out. So that gives me major, they would never jump out. I just have anxiety, so. Okay, now that I have mindlessly scrolled on TikTok for half an hour and ate my breakfast, it is now time to clean. I feel very awkward filming in front of these windows, guys, because there's like businesses across the street from me. I make eye contact with them all the time. The worst thing is like I put my phone sometimes in the windowsill as like for good lighting to film a TikTok. And like I'm talking and like doing peace signs and waving. And then like I look over and I'm like, wow, I'm really making eye contact with you. I, it looks like I'm like trying to get their attention if they like don't see my phone, which they probably don't notice there's a phone. They probably just see me like waving in the window. Um, but yeah, time to clean up. CBD and my vitamins. I'm gonna pour myself a small glass of juice. This is my favorite juice. It's the Natalie's grapefruit juice, but literally all of their juice is so good. And there's like mixed research. Oh God. Well, you know, that's what happens when you try to pour on camera. I'm gonna have to clean that up. But yeah, there's like mixed reviews on whether taking um, juice with vitamins is good or not. I know especially grapefruit juice can affect things, but I don't know. I'm just gonna hope it works. <laughs> One second, I'm gonna wipe this up. Okay, I just wanna show you guys my vitamin cabinet because I'm really proud of it. Um, ignore the olive oils. I don't have a place for them yet, but I got these two shelves. So this is like all the stuff I'm currently taking right now, just all of my vitamins and my collagen supplements and then multiple packs of vitamins because I go through phases where I forget to take them and then they like build up. 
And then underneath, because um, underneath are like all of my extra supplements that I'm going to use but have not gotten to using yet. So I'm gonna grab everything. Okay, here's the little vitamin array. I've been really bad about taking my vitamins. It's just a care of pack. It's like a veggie omega, probiotic, multivitamin, and ashwagandha, which helps with anxiety. And then apple cider vinegar helps with digestion. Magnesium helps with migraines and anxiety. Good Skin Day by Aura Organics. If you want a discount code, I'll put it on the screen right now for 15% off. They're amazing. I love this brand, and I'll also link it in the bio. Um, this just really helps my skin, like literally makes such a difference. <laughs> and then we take our good old CBD oil, which I had a discount code, but I don't know if it's still active. But if it is, I'll link it below. Um, but yeah, I take like a drop of this, and then I sit under my tongue for a minute, and then... Yeah. So yeah, if anyone's curious how I take my CBD, I literally just take the dropper. I think I've shown you guys this before. It's like very child proofed, so it's really hard to get up. But I just, it has like measurements. Hold on. I don't know if you can see. I don't know if you can see, but it's not going to focus, is it? Hello? Oh, now I'm dropping CBD. Anyway, I don't know if you can tell, but it has measurements. So I take 50 milliliters every day. And you just pop it under your tongue, let it sit for like 30 seconds to 60 seconds, and then I wash it down. And my worst fear came true, and I'm panicking. I always am so careful with checking the dates. And I was drinking grapefruit juice, and I drank all of it, and I was like, this tastes weird. But I just kept drinking it, because I was like, maybe it's my vitamins. And then I checked the date, and it expired eight days ago. Now I'm freaked out. I'm like so scared of getting, can you get food poisoning from grapefruit juice? Okay, now real talk, I'm legit panicked right now. Like I'm literally very nervous. And like I automatically now feel like I have to throw up. Which like I don't. But now I'm like, oh my, I have food poisoning takes like an hour. Oh God, or like two hours, how long does it take? Now I'm really freaked out. All right, well I'm in full blown panic mode, but I have to read for Crim Pro now because I have class in an hour and 40 minutes. Currently in full blown panic mode. Because I'm very scared of food poisoning, okay? But I did post on TikTok and you guys are all saying it's gonna be fine. So I'm gonna take your word for it and just try to relax. And a lot of you guys were like, you probably feel sick because you're giving yourself anxiety, which is definitely true and I do that all the time. Anyway, I am gonna end this vlog off here because it is officially basically not morning anymore. I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. Um, yeah, I love you guys so much. Seriously, from the bottom of my heart, I mean that. And make sure to like and subscribe to this video if you haven't already and you want to. I'll also link my TikTok and Instagram down below as well as anything I talked about in this vlog per usual. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys have a great weekend. Next week's gonna start being really crazy for me because it's like officially finals week. Like my last class is this Thursday. I'm really disturbed. Whew, but. And then I'm like officially a 3L. I'm like almost done. That's so crazy. Anyway, I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching. And I will see you guys in the next vlog. Really.